Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a male. If this is the first time you're seeing me, special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God uses this channel to minister to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. These people are in serious trouble because of you. They are in serious trouble because of you. Before I release this prophetic word, I want us to pray. Father, we thank you for your word that is about to come forth. Father, I pray that this word is going to serve as a confirmation. It's going to touch the heart of the person that needs to hear this. It's going to reaffirm your love and your commitment with them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Someone is in trouble because they failed to hold their own side of the bargain concerning your life. They failed to do what they were assigned to do concerning you. And it is not really their fault. It is just because you are God's anointed. It is just because you are loved by God. And there are certain things that God will not permit to happen to you. So they didn't really do anything wrong, but it's just that you slipped off their hands and it is an act of god it is in god's mercy it is by god's protection in your life that you slipped off their hands and now they are in serious trouble because of you when the lord gave me this prophetic word it reminded me of what happened in the book of acts chapter 12 verse 6 and 7 let's let's read and hear what is happening that very night before herod was to bring him forward Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries were in front of the doors, guarding the prison. Verse 7 says, Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared beside him, and a light shone in the cell. The angel struck Peter's side and awoken him, saying, Get up quickly, and the chains of and the chains fell off his hands hallelujah when the chains fell off his hands the prison doors were open peter the angel of the lord held peter by the hand and took him right to the city gate where he would go now this is the problem verse 18 says now when the day came there was no small disturbance among the soldiers over what had become of peter when herod had searched for him and could not find him he interrogated the guards and commanded that they be led away to execution then he went down from judea and caesarea and spent some time there now those guards were commanded to be executed because peter escaped through their hands but it wasn't their fault that is what happens when people are placed in a position to keep you under bondage beyond the will of god when people are assigned to keep you in a place beyond the will of god that is bound to happen it has nothing to do with them and people are going to get into trouble just by meddling in the issues that concerned you you know peter was in prison he was there it's the same thing that is happening in your life Probably you are in a compromised position right now. You are in a position that you don't really like. And and there are people that have been, you know, assigned to make sure that you stay in that place. Powers, principalities and powers, you know, all those useless powers that the Bible says we have powers over. When the appointed time comes, when the day of your liberation comes, be, be it human principalities or spiritual wickedness in high places when the day of your liberation comes there will be nothing that they can do to stop you and they might get in trouble just because you were kept in their care that is an assurance when your day of deliverance comes anyone that was was part of the plan to keep you down is going to be in great trouble god will not let you die in that situation i am here to tell you that situation is for the glory of the lord and at the appointed time 
God is going to set you free. At the appointed time, the people that were kept in charge to keep you perpetually stuck, to keep you perpetually in bondage, they are going to watch your freedom to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you receive the word of the Lord with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.